What's going on everybody? It's your girl Bianca Moore with Be More Successful Marketing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find winning designs for print on demand in 2019. But before we get started, I want to share with you a contest that I'm going to be running where I give away a list of winning niches for print on demand. All you have to do to enter is drop the letters POD down below in the comments and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. I'll be announcing one winner in my very next video. All right, so let's go ahead and get things started, guys. When I'm finding winners for print on demand, what I usually do is head on over to Pinterest and that is pinterest.com and I type in the niche that I am looking for. I usually go for niches like hobbies, careers, or pets, okay? Those are usually areas where people are super passionate and they buy things like crazy because they're that passionate about that subject matter. All right, so what we'll do here is start with careers. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and type in nurse t-shirt. And what it's going to do is populate all these different nurses t-shirts, okay? So the good thing about Pinterest is they tell you how many people are actually interested in that design. Okay, so let's go ahead and click this design and I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right, so 244 people were actually interested in this design. Now, if that many people are interested in this design, then you know that it is a winner. Okay, so what you would do is you would just screenshot this picture or save it to your computer, however you do it and you would take it over to a designer on Fiverr and have them do a very similar design. You don't want to, uh, you know, steal this design, but you do want to take the concept of this design and put your own spin to it. So, for instance, what we would do is change the font for uh, what they have here already, and we would also change um the colors okay the colors could be maybe a darker pink or a red or a purple or something like that okay and that is how you change the um concept of it not change the concept but how you change um from you know biting off of somebody else's design all right you could also change the way that this stethoscope looks okay so you could have them choose a different clip art um, for this. And the designers over on Fiverr usually know this. So um, all you have to do is just tell them to do a similar one. And down here, they will have more designs that are similar to the design that we just looked at. Okay, so you can get other design ideas by scrolling down to products like this. And then we click on it. And so we can see that 513 people are interested in this design. Okay, so this will be another winner for you. You can continue scrolling down and they show you more designs for um, the nursing niche. So you can click on this one. 126 people are interested in it. I usually go with anything that has more than 50 uh, pins. So um, that's what you can do too, so that you can start getting some winning designs for your business. All right, uh, this one looks pretty cool. We'll see how many pins it has. This one has 40, but this one is a unique one. I actually haven't seen anything like this, so you could just go ahead and give it a um, try because it does have 40, even though the golden number that you want to go for is 50 but this is very unique and this could possibly be a winner all right and then you can continue scrolling through and checking out different designs this one only has seven
And when you're choosing designs, you do want to go with designs, you know, with that speaks the lingo of the person that's passionate about it. The NCLEX is actually, I guess it's like a type of, um, you know, test or something that nurses take. And <laughs> of course, a nurse would know this because this is their lingo. Okay. So um, don't quote me on that, by the way. <laughs> I, I know that this is uh, definitely something, you know, that uh, nurses know about because my sister's a nurse and I heard her say something about the NCLEX. So it could be a test. I'm not really sure, but uh, it's definitely nurses lingo. So when you go with stuff like this, you know, you know that you're going to have people that are definitely interested in it because it is their lingo. Okay. All right. And this one has 143 pins. So this one is definitely a winner. Okay. So you would just uh, change the font for it, maybe change the colors up and, you know, maybe add like a, a nursing hat there or a stethoscope or a heart or something like that. And you have yourself a winner. All right, so let me go to some other niches for you. Let me just check this one out really quick, though. All right, this one has 42. We'll go ahead and check out another hobby. I'm sorry, another uh, career. We will type in mechanic. t-shirt all right this one only has one pin some of these niches if they're more geared around um males then you may not find that many pins um more males are in the mechanic field. Um, and Pinterest is more so for females. A lot of females are on Pinterest, okay? So you may not find a lot of pins for male uh, careers and stuff like that. Not really male careers. You know what I mean, guys. <laughs> careers that males mostly dominate, okay? But uh, let me go ahead and scroll down through these. But you still can get ideas from these, though. Let me go here, see what we got. Working on cars teaches us patience and every curse word imaginable. Okay, so this is definitely something funny. Um, it's witty, for sure. And you can take this to your designer and have them do a very similar one. All right. Um, again, it only has two pins, but that is because, you know, this is still in a male dominated, uh, career, but you definitely can get ideas from here. Let me click on this one. This one doesn't have any, uh, pins just yet. But uh, this is a pretty cool design, okay? Let's go to the fitness niche. This one is actually a hobby. So I'll type in fitness shirt, t-shirt. And we will look for some winning designs here. All right, so let me just click on this. All right, this one says, I broke up with my gym when <laughs> we just weren't working out. And that's pretty cool, all right? And this one has 2,000 uh, pins, so it's definitely a winner. Maybe you could add, like, a barbell or something on here, like, underneath, or change the colors and font so that it's uh, the same wording, but, you know, your own spin to it. We'll go down here and see what else they have. This one has 281 pins. 
what doesn't kill you <laughs> disappoints me. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. And you can scroll down and find some more. This one only has eight pins. Let's click on this. This one has 668 pins. This is definitely a winner. There's a 99% chance I am hungry. All right, so this would be for, you know, people who are trying to lose weight or trying to get in shape or, um, you know, somebody who's dieting or something like that. So this would definitely be something that they would be interested in wearing. And that's why it has so many pins. We'll click on this one right here. Burpees. Yeah, no, I thought you said Slurpees. That's pretty cute. All right, so uh, this one has 83 pins, so it's definitely a winner. Click on this. This one has 32. And guys, you do want to stay away from trademark things. This looks like Mulan. Um, could be wrong, but it definitely... Oh, well, yes, this is Mulan. It says Disney right here. So you definitely want to stay away from trademarked. Um, pictures and things of that nature because you definitely don't want uh you know trademark lawyers coming after you all right so let me just go ahead and get out of this one and start finding other um shirts all right this one only has three but um, this one, I could see it being a winner. Maybe they just posted this or something like that. Um, my kettlebells are bigger than yours. You see what it's playing on right here? As you can see where these uh, kettlebells are actually uh, positioned. All right. So um, now let me go to the uh, pet niche. We'll type in dogs. Dog t-shirt. All right. This one only has eight pins, so it's not a winner. Let's click on this. What does this say? I'm proud of many things in my life, but nothing beats being my husband's wife. All right. Um, this one is more of a passion niche about like love. Um, this one's not related to the pet niche, and it only has two pins, so it's definitely not a winner. Um, it could be a winner if you know how to market it. But uh, as of now, maybe they just posted it. So that's why it's not a winner uh, just yet. Let me click on this. All right, this one has 112 pins. So it's a winner. Um, it says, mom, life is rough. And they're playing on the word rough. All right, um, to relate it to uh, dog lovers, okay? Let's click on this one and see if it's a winner. This one is almost a winner. It has 49 pins. So uh, this is definitely something you can take on over to your designer and have them make a similar one. I make fetch happen. Proud dog mom. This one only has 18 pins. This could be a winner. Um, you know, if they put like a specific dog on here or maybe some dog paws or something like that. You don't necessarily have to go with how many pins they have, but that just gives you an idea of how many people are actually looking for it, okay? All right, so um, to be more specific with the dog niche, you can start typing in breeds like, Pitbull t-shirts. All right. Click on this one right here. This one has 16. Now this one definitely could be a winner. This is something that could probably sell on Instagram um, because people are super passionate about pit bulls. 
Um, as you can see, it says, keep calm. It's a pit bull, not a freaking shark. Pit bulls have a bad rep. So, um, you know, this would be something cute for someone to wear to show that pit bulls are lovable. You know, they're not sharks. They're not meant to go out and attack people and stuff like that. So um, I could see a lot of people wearing this shirt. I'm just scrolling down to see what else is here. This one looks like a Christmas one. Be nice to physical education teacher Santa is watching. This one only has one pin, but uh, around Christmas time, this definitely could be a winner. Let's go back and see if I can find some more Pitbull t-shirts. All right, here we go. Educate, don't discriminate. This is another good one, and this is, again, going towards people who, um, you know, know that pit bulls aren't dangerous. You know, they aren't trained to be dangerous or born to be dangerous. You know, people usually train them to be that way. So this one is definitely a shirt someone could be passionate about wearing. And it has 73 pins, by the way. Click on this one. This one is a French bulldog. How many pins does it have? It only has three right now. It says, this girl loves her French bulldog. And this one could definitely be a winner. Um, they maybe just posted this or, um, you know, it hasn't gotten a chance to actually get enough pins. But this is definitely something that can be sold on Instagram or Facebook. All right, now let me show you how I know something could be a winner. Like this right here, it has good design. I wish this thing didn't black out like this, <laughs> but uh, you can click on it to make it bigger, I think. Yeah, all right, so it takes you to the website, but you can see that it's bigger. All right, and let me close that. And you can tell that this is a good design, okay? It has a picture of a dog. You can see the wording clearly. It's very vibrant as far as the lettering. This is something someone could wear. Now, let me show you something that isn't too um, pleasing to the eye, you know? This one right here, this needs a lot of work okay this girl loves a chinese crested okay this it it could use some work on the font it could uh definitely use a picture on here and it also could have better colors okay um this just isn't you know something that i would see somebody wearing out in town or anything like that or you know, just uh, even really hanging around the house in because <laughs> the lettering just doesn't look good, okay? So that's the difference between, you know, seeing a basic shirt like this and seeing a shirt like this, all right? Um, Cows are a big thing, by the way, guys. Um, I saw a lot of this on Facebook a little while ago. So if you are looking to be in the pet niche, um, cows are definitely the way to go. Um, this could be a winner, okay? Um, just because it has one pin doesn't mean it, it's not a winner. Maybe they could turn happy, uh, you know, make that a color. Like go ahead and add red or blue or even yellow to it or maybe color the cow's nose, and this could become a winner, all right? I would make this lettering a little larger so that it's not all bunched up in one spot, and this could potentially be a winner. All right, so you really can find everything under the sun on Pinterest. Let me uh, just show you. Let's say we were in the surfing niche. Surfing t-shirt. There's going to be shirts in uh, the surfing niche. All right. Click on this. This has 11 pins. 
This is a very nice design. You can scroll down to get more ideas. Okay, and let's just go on over and find another uh, niche. We'll type in motorcycle t-shirts. This is a niche that I'm actually in and it is a very, very um, profitable. These people spend a lot of money. They take pride in this niche. Uh, so like if you're drop shipping, this is definitely a niche to get into. As far as POD goes, print on demand, uh, you know, this is something, you know, they're, like I said, they're passionate about. They would definitely wear something with a motorcycle on it. Okay. Um, let's scroll down. I don't see any good designs that I usually, um, use. But, uh, we could just go ahead and click on some of these. Let me click. All right. This has 12 pins. And again, um, going back to, you know, who's actually buying this stuff, males mostly ride motorcycles over females. And again, Pinterest is um, mostly female. So that could be why the pins are so low for this. Okay. They have some more right here. This one has 36 pins. This one has one pin. This particular quote is definitely a winner. Um, I sold a whole bunch of these, by the way. Um, drop a gear and disappear. So um, if you want to dive into the motorcycle niche, go ahead and, you know, screenshot this. And head over to your designer. All right, um, there's other things here. You got the camping niche. I was going to type in niche. Let me put t-shirt. Uh, these people are actually super passionate as well. This one has seven pins, five billion star hotel. This is a very good quote. And you could definitely turn this into a winner. I would not make it this color, all one color like this. Okay, um, I would maybe make white font and maybe keep it all one color down here, but uh, not this orange color. Okay, maybe a green. This one has eight pins camping rule number one. Don't get your weenie too close to the fire. Um, crude stuff like this, um, actually will get you sales. Okay. Males love this kind of stuff. They think it's hilarious. This could definitely get you some sales. Okay. So, uh, I would definitely copy this and, uh, well, screenshot it and get a similar one done because, uh, this is definitely a winner stuff that is funny uh crude you know something that could be like a meme usually are winners and you could just scroll down and get more design ideas here weekend forecast hunting with a chance of drinking okay this one is definitely a winner as well okay the hunting niche is huge i would maybe change these colors up um and not use orange maybe use like a brown here or um, maybe a blue and keep this deer orange or brown. But this one definitely is a winner, okay? And I'm saying these are winners because these are ones that I've personally used before. So um, I, I know that these are winners. All right, now let me go ahead and show you guys where else I get design ideas from. I usually go to Amazon 
Amazon is huge and loaded with print on demand designs. Okay, so here you can type in mom t shirts. So for Mother's Day, Mother's Day is coming up soon. You can definitely get some ideas here on Amazon. And the good thing about Amazon is they show you, you have 201 right here. That's sales, okay? You have tired as a mother, okay? This is, you know what it means. It's tired as an MFer, okay? So it's playing on the word mother, all right? It has 45 sales. That's really good. These are all designs that could pro possibly sell more if you change the way these look, okay? Because these aren't really good designs, okay? They could definitely use some work to them, okay? Um, this one, I'm going to drop the F-bomb kind of mom, all right? So this one has, uh, how many cells did it have? Did it have 50? Yeah, it had 50, okay. Well, these are actually the reviews, not the sales. So um, that just shows you that these things are getting sales, though. All right. Um, now, keep in mind, guys, when you are doing things for, um, you know, if you're selling to females, you do want to keep the colors geared towards females um going with your pinks your purples your light blues your yellows um this shirt could be doing a lot better if it were pink or if it was a uh, lavender or yellow or a baby blue okay keep that in mind i'm talking about the font here all right this is something cute right here blessed to be her mom and then they have one for the daughter blessed to be her daughter okay this could definitely be a winner all you would have to do is change this font okay um let me check on some other ones up here we got mechanic t-shirts all right so they have a lot of mechanic t-shirts here with great designs. Um, in this niche, they like to look at these type of designs right here. As you can see with the skull and like, is this supposed to be the crossbow, uh, crossbones? They have some uh, wrenches here. And for males, you can usually go for colors like dark green, blue, red, black. All right. Um, and the colors that you have been seeing, the reds uh, for the font, this orangish, uh, like burnt orange color. I'm just scrolling through so that you guys can see the designs that they have here. This is very unique right here. And this could definitely be a winner, all right? Uh, let's see the different dog t-shirts that they have here. Actually, let's go for cats. Cats are pretty big as well. All right, so <laughs> these are some funny ones. Um, this one has 46 reviews, meaning that, you know, there's been sales here. Ew, people. Now, you could make these cats look a lot better than this, okay? And this could definitely be a winner. People know that cats are mean and grumpy. So uh, all you would have to do is tell your designer to find some better looking cats and change this font up, okay? And that will be a winner for you. Mother of cats. All right.
I was just trying to get a better look at this. All right, this one's supposed to be like it the clown, okay? Um, you can use this because it's not actually showing it the clown. It doesn't say it, um, you know, by itself. It says kit 10. It's playing on the word it. Maybe have them change the font slightly so that it's not using the exact font that it the clown uses so that you can stay away from getting hit with trademark. Also, you can scroll down when you're here, guys, and check out more designs that are possibly winners. Type in plumber t-shirts. All right, so they have some pretty cool plumber t-shirts as well. Let's click on this one. Make it a little bit bigger. All right, so this one could be a winner. I would um change this color from being a light blue to a dark blue. And it could possibly get more sales and maybe or maybe change it to red, okay, and make this plunger actually look like a plunger, okay, because it kind of looks like a bell or a broom or something. This one is a very good one right here. I would definitely take this over to um, my designer and have them do a very similar one to this. This could definitely be a winner. This one right here, like I said, you guys can use uh, crude things, you know, things that are kind of rude and obnoxious because this sells, okay? These are the kind of things that sell and they even have one for females. They have the little uh, pink color right here. All right. But personally, what I would have done is kept the black shirt. And for the females, maybe change the actual colors of the font to pink. All right. And if you've made it to this far in the video, I am now going to show you what I have been doing to, um, you know, save money on designers and save money on uh, using some of the print on demand uh, apps, you know, that cost monthly. So if you are on a budget, this could be a solution for you. All right. So let me just head on over to where I go to. Uh, get print on demand t-shirts I go to eBay guys all right eBay is great for print on demand okay um you can come here you can type in you know mechanic t-shirts or whatever you are looking for and they have it okay the good thing about this is if you have the dropify app you can import this right to your store. Well, let me cl actually click on one of these. All right, you can import this right to your store. And it already comes with the different sides of the shirt, the front and the back. It has uh, how the shirt is going to fit. And it also has a sizing chart, okay? It has the name up here, which you can change if you want. And then you can actually change the price right here. Now, I'm going to show you how to get a lower price for these, okay? Um, and then you would just go ahead and import this into your store. And the good thing about Dropify is you can fulfill your orders with Dropify, okay, from eBay. 
So you don't have to touch any of these uh, products or anything like that. Uh, you don't have to hire a designer. You don't have to worry about somebody else. You know, um, you don't have to worry about telling somebody to change the, the design up or anything. These people have already paid for it. Okay, so um, Dropify is definitely, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely um, heaven sent. And if you are on a budget, can't hire a designer, you know, you should definitely uh, think about eBay. Uh, they have some of the same winning designs on here, as you can see as I scroll down. Um, if you guys don't have Dropify, I'll go ahead and leave a link for you to get a free 14-day um, trial in uh, the description below and also in the comments so that you can get it. And as you can see, these are winners, guys. You don't even need a designer. And when your customer orders, all you have to do, like I said, is go through Dropify. And once you go through Dropify, um, it will just circulate through just like it does with AliExpress, okay? It'll have the customer's uh, name. It'll have the customer's address. Uh, you'll already have the money from the customer, and you just go ahead and pay as you normally would with AliExpress, okay? And the good thing about this is these are all from the U.S., okay? As you can see, uh, today's the 26th. So this person would get this between um, May 2nd and May 7th. Now, today's the weekend, so, you know, that's why it's a little bit longer. But most of these, they'll get in three to five days, okay? And that's the good thing about uh, using Dropify because they do allow you to import and they allow you to fulfill orders. Now, let's say that you wanted a bigger profit. All you have to do is click on under 16, okay? So once you do that, you can scroll through and see which ones are under $16, okay? And that's the good thing about it because you're going to price your shirts at, you know, $22.95 through $29.95. My sweet spot personally when I'm doing print on demand is uh $24.95. So, you know, if I'm doing that, I can get a $14 um profit, you know, $13, $14 profit if I was to choose a shirt like this. And these also show how many shirts are sold. Um, some vendors show it, some vendors don't, but you can just message, you know, the vendor to see how much, uh, or how many they have sold. This is a good design. I would maybe change this up if I was to, yeah, um, you know, use my own designer, but since I'm here on eBay, you know, I'm just going to use this, just use this right here. And as you can see, 310 sold. That's a lot. My customer will get this uh, May 3rd through May 8th, which is great. They don't, I don't have to worry about getting any emails from my customer wondering where their t-shirts are or anything like that. Okay. And uh, with eBay, they send tracking to you as well. It updates just like on AliExpress when you're using Dropify or Uber. Oberlo. I don't think Oberlo does this yet. Um, so that's why I'm using Dropify. But um, like I was saying, you know, they show other niches here. There's other niches. It's not just mechanics. You can type in camping and go through and see what style shirts they have. This has uh, six dollars ninety eight cents to nineteen ninety nine. This is good margins for you because you can charge shipping okay you can charge shipping all right um i would probably go with this one because it's only 6.98 with two dollars shipping and for my shipping in my store i charge anywhere from uh 4.95 to 6.95 shipping so you know um if you did want to go with a higher priced one you could still get profit let's say you did choose one that's 1999 
you could still get profit from this if you priced it at $24.99 um, if you charge shipping on it. All right, and as you can see, they have some of the same designs, if not better than the ones that we previously seen. So yeah, you don't need a designer. You don't have to go over to Fiverr. Um, you get fast shipping for your customers. And, you know, it's it's simple. All you have to do is import NC Store by using Dropify. I keep doing that. I don't know why. But, um, like I said, uh, you can come here, type in other niches, French Bulldog. As you can see, they have the dog father. This will be a winner. This, these mugshot ones are winners. I've seen just about every breed with that. Uh, this could be a winner. Maybe you could add some, um, you know, font or something to this, like add a caption if you were to uh, take it to a designer. But, you know, um, it's already here. You don't need a designer like I was saying. And you're good to go. All right. Uh, these can be sold around New Year's or sold around uh, July 4th, Independence Day. Okay. Red, white, and booze. And they have the dog one. They have um, a bulldog. They have a French bulldog. They have a pit bull. They have different designs here. All right. So um, that is how you find winners with print on demand in 2019. Um, remember to enter the contest to win my list of the best niches for uh, print on demand. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop the letters POD down in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time I drop another dope video. And guys, make sure you watch the next video so that you can see if you are a winner for the list of niches. I'll see you guys in the next video.